it hurt me to wake up and see my beautiful black people suffer, victimized by the oppressive harsh realities of the hood. I guess even though we were free, we were still slaves in the mind. Message! Overlap in private prison slash mass media ownership is disturbing. Let's make this clear. The people who own the media are the same people who own private prisons. The exact same people. They make money from getting so-and-so from the hood to glorify the life they live. And they don't care about the impact it has on others because money is the motive. Then when the music influences others in criminal behavior, they make money from all the impressionable low-income people of color that are expected to go inside their private prisons. YouTube, what it do, man? Time and time again, man. I keep trying to tell y'all this shit, man. Nobody want to listen. And this is why no nigga New November is so important. Y'all not see what's going on right now? And I'm trying to tell y'all. There would be no black celebrity or boule that would go who has a legacy that would be untarnished. There are no untarnished black celebrity dead or alive in the boule. Not one. Every single person in the boule gets their asterisk. Y'all hear me? This is one of the baby's asterisks. Cause he got away with a murder now look they fishing let's play the video That's the last time we're going to show that dumbass video. But there is a message with li which lies beneath the surface of what's going on with the baby and any other black entertainer but when it comes to hip-hop and prison let's just once again revisit a little history listen i have proof in 2012 core civic formerly known as corrections corporation of america the biggest name in the private prison industry contacted 48 states offering to buy their prisons one requirement of eligibility for the deal was particularly strange. An assurance by the agency partner that the agency has sufficient inmate population to maintain a minimum 90% occupancy rate over the term of the contract. Wait, drag it? What? What kind of legal and ethical measures could be taken to ensure the maintenance of a 90% prison occupancy rate? I won't talk, I don't know. I want y'all to think about what was just said in that last clip. In order to get a private prison, you have to maintain 90% occupancy. 90%. So where is 90% gonna come from? I think we know where this video is going. What? What kind of legal and ethical measures could be taken to ensure the maintenance of a 90% prison occupancy rate? Now let's work together to connect these things because I'm sure you're a smart person. It won't be long. Let's do the work. In 2012, a mere 232 media executives were responsible for the intake of 277 million Americans controlling all avenues necessary to manufacture any celebrity and spark any trend. Time Warner, as the owner of Warner Brothers Records, can not only sign an artist, but since they're also owners of Entertainment Weekly, they can also put an artist on the cover by next week. 
You think you choose what you listen to, but do you? <clears throat> and that is a question that desperately needs to be asked on a grander scale and needs to be answered because it's getting worse, it's not getting better. Okay? We're going down a rabbit hole, people. If prison is modern day slavery, huh? If prison is modern day slavery, you have rappers glorifying going to prison and i say slavery is a choice what the what what am i missing how, how what am i missing here is that not slave is that not choosing slavery i digress you think you choose what you listen to but do you both bet and mtv belong to viacom okay okay now i know that's not news to some but when the use of these media conglomerates is cross-checked with ownership of the biggest names in prison privatization, it's starting to get a little fishy. The largest holder in Core Civic, formerly Corrections Corp of America, is Vanguard Group Incorporated. Vanguard is the number one largest holder in both Viacom and Time Warner. Vanguard is also the largest holder in the GEO Group, the second largest owner of private prisons in the U.S. Do y'all see what I'm talking about? This is what people like shout out Ayo Kaseko, the Rap Trap, Bit Fence Podcast, No Nigga New November. We talking about the golf course theory. This is what he's alluding to. When they talk about the meeting that changed hip hop, these are things that were happening. Vanguard owns is a le- Vanguard is one of the leading. I don't know how to put it. Like they just they're one of the biggest holders of the you know what i'm saying of, of, of private prisons and also the biggest holder of music and also the biggest holder of other media such as magazines and news channels they're just circulating money between this a triangle you gotta see what's going on vanguard buys prisons which in turn takes that money right find a dumbass rapper Boom, but it's all still going to the same person. Red dumbass rapper buys these luxury clothes, these luxury cars, designer clothes, and they go broke. Now you back in square one again. And guess what? It's a full circle. You right back to where you started at. Slavery is a choice. It's Vanguard Group Incorporated. Vanguard is the number one largest holder in both Viacom and Time Warner. Vanguard is also the largest holder in the GEO group, the second largest owner of private prisons in the US. The overlap in private prison slash mass media ownership is disturbing. Let's make this clear. The people who own the media are the same people who own private prisons, the exact same people. They make money from getting so-and-so from the hood to glorify the life they live, and they don't care about the impact it has on others because money is the motive. Then when the music influences others in criminal behavior, they make money from all the impressionable low-income people of color that are expected to go inside their private prisons. You can research these companies yourself, by the way, it's not hit. It hurt me to wake up and see my beautiful black people suffer, victimized by the oppressive harsh realities of the hood. I guess even though we were free, we were still slaves in the mind. Message! 